Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, hope you're doing well. Ignore the fact that the filming light is out, I've literally just gone and filmed another whole video for you guys and now I'm just going to relax for the night. So I thought I'd do a cosy little reading vlog because I did my last exam of the year for uni the other day and I just haven't read for ages. All I've been doing is revising and I just want to sit, relax, chill, have a nice hot shower, do a face mask, have a chill out and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. So that is what today's video is. I hope you enjoy. Obviously, as I just said, I have just filmed a whole YouTube video and I don't know if that's going to be up by the time that I upload this. I'm just going to do a cosy little vlog for you guys and just speak you through my evening, let you know what I get up to and you can read with me because honestly, read with me's are like some of my favourite videos ever to watch on YouTube. I love just sitting and watching reading vlogs while I'm reading. I just love it. I think it's really cosy, really fun. So that is why I wanted to do one for you guys as well. I have also been to work this morning, so I'm really, really tired and I just want to chill out. Basically, I've done exams all week, as I said before, I deserve the break. I really, really deserve the break. So I don't know what the plans for right now are. I might read for a little bit because I don't even know. Wait, Alexa, what's the time? It's 4.17pm. Okay, it's only 20 past four. So I don't really do much <laughs> at this time until after dinner. I literally haven't really moved from this position since the last clip, but I have got changed. I've put on this really, really cute strappy vest top that I bought from work today. And I think it's really lovely and some denim shorts because I'm gonna go read in the garden. It's quite a nice evening out there. The sun is out and I need to get used to being in the sun because me and Riley are going on holiday next month. And I am more of a winter person. Sitting out in the sun for a really, really long time just affects me. I just cannot stand the sun in my eyes. So I need to get used to reading out there. So that is what I'm going to go and do now. I mean, it is a nice evening, so it should be nice. And I'm going to read some more of my book because I have literally only just started it. So I'm very early days into it. So I have no thoughts yet. So obviously later on when I get a bit more into the book, I will give you sort of more of my opinion. But I'm going to go read in there and just see where the evening takes me. hungry I'm gonna go make some dinner I'm literally just sat eating my dinner right now and I just wanted to let you know I've sent Sarah Crowley last month a book off of her Amazon wish list and she's just looked at it in a vlog and said my name so I'm having a little fangirl moment at the moment so I'm gonna insert it and show you but this is from at Ella Rose Reads she is so sweet so cute thank you for sending me this but oh my goodness <laughs> dark in here it's a little bit later on now and i don't know about you guys but i love making my room really really cozy before i have a bath or shower because once that bath and shower is done i do nothing for the rest of the day so i like to set my pajamas out put some lights on and some candles on and just make it all cozy because once i've done that i can just sit and read all night not worry about tidying up so that's what i'm going to do now and then i'm going to go for my shower
can't really move my face so I'm going to try not to smile and talk properly because of my face mask but I wanted to give you a little reading update because I haven't actually done that yet in this video. I'm currently reading, oh I've just put that book in my face mask. I'm currently reading Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid and it is one of her least popular books and I have read most of her books other than two I think. I love her you guys will know she's one of my favourite authors ever and I'm only around 70 pages in but I'm really really loving this so far and I am enjoying it. It's based on quite a sad topic. It's about a woman whose husband died and you get to see sort of how she grieves and also the past time when they met and sort of how they got together and stuff like that so it's quite nice to see you know their relationship build but obviously it's horrible to see her grieving at the same time. Obviously I'm only like 70 pages in so I can't wait to see what the rest of the book has in store so I'm gonna sit and read while this does its magic. Hopefully it cures me of all things wrong with my face and yeah we'll see if I enjoy it. Oh actually I also want to let you know that I have also downloaded the book on my kindle so if you randomly see me tonight switch to my kindle it's because I've got it on both. So that is what I'm doing. I like reading on my Kindle at night because I get to actually fully lay down with it and I just find it easier to read on my Kindle, but I'm gonna read the paperback for now. fresh I'm clean and it's now skincare time I always find personally that when I wash my face I always get really really dry skin after not even dry just my skin feels really really tight and not very nice so I always like to moisturize obviously I mean you should do anyway <laughs> I don't know if you just saw that but that just spilt everywhere just gonna have to put it on my face. It's literally gone everywhere. laying here reading in bed and thoroughly enjoying just the peace and quiet of it all but I'm gonna have a little break and make a cup of tea and maybe put some booktube on the telly because I fancy watching some like book hauls or a book unboxing or just any random bookish kind of video just sat and read for the entire evening and I have also made a thumbnail for this video which is very, very good I feel productive I feel great and I've read up to page 155 so I'm about halfway through the book now but it isn't really about what I thought it was going to be about so it says on the blurb that it's about a woman called Elsie her husband dies in a motorbike accident and she sort of has to deal with her mother-in-law not knowing who she was because they were only married for a week and a half and the mother-in-law sort of just doesn't understand the situation doesn't understand why her son wouldn't tell her that he was married and obviously that is a main part of the book but it's not focused on as much as I thought it was going to because it's actually more about obviously Elsie the wife and how she deals with his death and stuff like that but I thought the mother-in-law would be a more present character obviously she might be in the second half of the book I don't know that yet but I am really enjoying this so far which is good everyone that I've known who's read this has said that it wasn't that good and they didn't really vibe with it but I'm really enjoying it which is good 
everyone that I've obviously heard talk about this has said that it wasn't really their cup of tea, they didn't really overly enjoy it, but I am, so I'm good. I need to just carry on reading it because it's one of them books I'm sort of addicted to, so that's good. I mean, I finished Twisted Love last week and I was in a bit of a book hangover, literally had no idea what I wanted to read after that, so that's why I went for a Taylor Jenkins read book in the first place because I was like, I know I'm gonna like whatever book she produces. If this woman's name is on it, I will enjoy it. <laughs> new angle for you guys you're welcome you can literally see all the mess in my room now that is the problem but we're gonna ignore that and we're gonna read some more to use my kindle at night because i just start progressively laying down further and further as i go and then it becomes a struggle to hold the book so i'm probably going to switch in a minute <laughs> once i finish this chapter anyway <laughs> I think the book just confirmed something that I predicted literally before I even opened this book and I read the blurb I predicted a trope that could possibly occur and I think it's just happened nothing's confirmed yet but it's been hinted and I don't know if, I don't know how I feel I'm not mad but I'm not excited <laughs> I just want to see I don't know I can't even say that's the problem with doing booktube videos I cannot even tell you what it is but if you know you know I am so so tired and I've just finished reading for the night and I got up to page 220 and it's a 320 page book so I've only got 100 pages left which is really really good and I'm going to finish it in the morning but I am actually going book shopping tomorrow with two of my bookster besties I have known them since school so they're not even bookster besties they're school friends but they both have books to grab as well. But I'm gonna stop here for tonight and just get some sleep because I'm very, very tired. I was gonna carry on reading, but I don't wanna force myself to finish the book tonight because I'm just tired and I just won't enjoy it as much as if I was awake. So I'm gonna savor it and finish it tomorrow. Night guys, see you in the morning. Guys, I'm not even joking. God, that is really, really bright. But I didn't even notice that it was two o'clock in the morning. Like, I was invested in that goddamn book. And it's 2 a.m. right now. Readathon vibe. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. I was meant to wake up at 8 a.m., but after going to bed at 2.30, I literally was having none of it. My alarm went off at 8 and I was like, mm -mm, no. So I ended up cancelling that alarm and waking up at 10. So I did not have the slow morning that I envisioned. I was going to wake up, listen to Sarah and Destiny's new podcast. I was going to watch some booktube. I was going to finish my book because that is what I'm excited to do today. But I've done none of it. I've literally just hopped out of bed literally like five seconds ago. So not going to plan today. However, I am still going book shopping with Marley and Summer. And obviously we're going to meet at 12.30. So I have more than enough time still to do everything. However, I am going to still finish this book in this vlog. So even if I have to wait until after shop shopping, I'm I'm going to finish this book in this vlog. So don't you worry. <laughs> I'm all ready now. This is my outfit of the day, the little Starbucks and book shopping fit. And I didn't actually manage to read anything. Like I said, that I probably could. But if not, I'm definitely going to read when I get there, maybe in Starbucks or something with the girlies. If not, I'm definitely going to read when I get back. So it will be finished today. Don't you worry. So I'm going to head out now. It's time for me to leave. And... I'm excited. Hey guys, it's a little bit later on now and I finished the book. I didn't film anything when we went book shopping. We just had a nice little girly day and whatever. And I finished the book and I literally cried. I wasn't expecting to cry, but the minute you start relating like a book to your own life, it just hits and it made me really really upset so it was horrible because obviously it's about husbands dying and I was like 
if Riley dies, what am I going to do? <laughs> but I haven't really felt well this evening. I felt a little bit anxious, felt a bit sick and I've just been cooped up in bed, which is why I didn't read until now. But I just wanted to update you guys that I have finished the book. I don't know what I want to rate it yet because obviously it's still fresh in my mind. So I'll put on screen what I ended up rating it. But yeah, it's actually really, really good. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be because as I said before, everyone that I've seen that's read this has said it was crap or if not crap, just not the best. And I actually did really, really, really enjoy it. Obviously it is quite a sad book. I don't know. I'm in a bit of a down mood right now, but I need some lightheartedness to pick me up. So I'm probably going to read just like a fluffy little romance next, but that is all that I finished it. I'm going to end this vlog here though, because I'm very, very tired. Did go to bed at 2am. Actually it was later than 2am, but obviously there is any other books that you want me to do reading vlogs on obviously this wasn't really a forever interrupted reading vlog it was just more of a cozy reading vlog so if you want any specific books where you actually hear details about the book and just like actual reading vlogs for those then let me know comment it dm me do whatever you need to do and i will do that i love these videos they're my favorite types to film so i can't wait to do more that is all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and turn my little post notifications on so you get notified every time I post a video. And I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.